Creating content that attracts the right audience is one thing, but designing content that engages your audience to take action is something to prioritize. The content you create for your buyer's journey should be educational as well as encouraging so leads take certain actions. These actions don't have to be an immediate purchase, but they should bring leads a step closer to becoming a customer. Let's say you're searching for quick meal ideas online and come across a blog with 20 minute recipes. You continue learning about new recipes as you scroll through the blog until you reach the end. Here, you see an invitation to receive weekly emails about their latest recipes and decide to subscribe. This is an example of how a blog can initiate action. Creating content that drives buyers to take action is how you can help shoppers through their buyer's journey and move them closer to a purchase. This can be achieved by including a call to action in your content. A call to action, or CTA, is an element in your content that prompts visitors to do something. For example, the call to action for the 20 Minute Recipes blog was to subscribe to their newsletter. This was strategically placed at the end of the blog, encouraging viewers to take action before leaving their website. As a marketer, CTAs will help you convert a visitor into a new contact and allow you to nurture those contacts through their buyer's journey. It'll also help you measure the effectiveness of your content and determine which content is driving the most customers and sales. So how do you create compelling CTAs in your content? It depends on the type of content, such as written, visual, audio, or interactive. Let's review different examples of compelling CTAs, starting with written content. Written content can include blog posts, white papers, or case studies. Here's Pam Bump, Senior Marketing Manager of Audience Growth on the HubSpot blog team, sharing an example of a high-performing blog post she created. One example of a high-performing post we've published is the social media trends of 2021. This post includes data from our social media trends report, and the social media trends report is also the CTA that we sprinkle throughout the piece. This year, the post has received 71,000 views and over 160 net new form submissions. While the view count is great to see, it's also excellent to see those view submissions because that means people are reading the post and taking the extra step, which is downloading the social media trends report. So how can you encourage blog readers to take that next step? Here's Pam again sharing recommendations on how you can create blog content that drives action. Where it feels natural, you can also sprinkle sneak peeks of your CTA in the post, such as a quote from your CTA or a template that the CTA gives. That way, people can get an idea of what they'll be downloading. Lastly, while it might be tempting to put CTAs all over your posts, it's important to just pick one or two CTAs that really relate to your post and put a variation of calls to action in the post, maybe two to three max. HubSpot places a non-obtrusive text-based CTA in the intro, a banner CTA at the bottom of the post, and a slide-in CTA that shows up as you scroll through the page. So that way we can continue the reading experience without distracting people with CTAs. As Pam mentioned, include a sneak peek of your content and focus on one or two CTA offers. You should also use actionable and specific language. For example, consider download free template or request a demo instead of vague CTAs like submit. Also, design your CTA to stand out. Give it a different color to contrast from the rest of the content and make sure it's large enough to grab your reader's attention. As Pam mentioned, keep your CTAs to a minimum for each piece of content. Including different CTAs can often confuse viewers on what to do next, but one or two relevant CTAs can guide users on next steps. Next is visual content. Visual content can include videos, infographics, or webinars. Here's Jamal Maneed, video producer for HubSpot's YouTube team, to share how he's created video content that's driven users to take action. A successful video we've recently created for YouTube was why you need effective inbound content marketing to grow your brand. At the end of the video, we invite viewers to learn more by downloading our free content marketing workbook or taking our content marketing certification. We saw a 2.4% CVR for October, which is pretty high compared to benchmarks. When thinking about CTAs and video content, it's important to remember that on YouTube, folks are looking to be entertained, unless they're specifically already looking at your video for information or education. Make sure your presentation throughout is engaging and entertaining, and if you can muster a joke or a unique angle for your CTA, consider employing that as well. In addition, you don't want the CTA to be a huge departure from the rest of the content of the video. If we're talking about TikTok memes, and now you're trying to get me to buy a subscription to a meal prep service, 
I'm probably not gonna care, unfortunately. Try to make sure that there's some amount of congruence between the CTA and the topic of your video. In other words, your CTA should maintain the viewer's expectations and experience of your content. Like Jamal said, make sure your video is engaging and entertaining, and don't let your CTA stray from your content. You should also include a CTA to your website if the content is hosted on another medium like videos on YouTube or infographics on social media. Directing users back to your website will help support them through their buyer's journey and convert into a contact. Try experimenting with different types of CTAs like visual and verbal. You can test different types and determine which works best. Similar to written content, make your CTA stand out. Overlay text or buttons shouldn't blend with the background of your visual content. Experiment with animations or sound effects to make your video CTAs stand out, or choose colors and fonts that contrast with your image content. Now for audio content. Example audio content includes podcasts or audiobooks. Here's Andrew Hong, CEO and co-founder of Toby Agency, a HubSpot Solutions partner agency, sharing his insights on incorporating CTAs in podcast content. So an example of a successful podcast that we created that drove listeners to take action was the Estate of Mind podcast by the Institute for Luxury Home Marketing. We asked them to go to a lead magnet via a link in the show notes, and the lead magnet was tracked via UTM. We received approximately about a 60% opt-in rate for the traffic that hit the landing page via the UTM, and we estimated that about 10% of the podcast listeners actually visited the landing page. Inviting listeners to take action requires different techniques than written or visual content. Here's Andrew sharing more tips. One is consider doing mid-roll CTAs. A lot of times people skip through the beginning of podcasts or don't listen through all the way to the end, so it's hard for them to hear ads that are either at the beginning or the end of the podcast. Second, most of the podcast platforms allow you to put live URLs to link out to a piece of content. Make sure that you use this function because it's a great way for people to get them into your overall content marketing funnel. As Andrew mentioned, consider mid-roll CTAs and include links if the podcast platform allows. You need to make your CTA easy to achieve by verbally explaining how listeners can take action. If this requires multiple complex steps, it may be hard for listeners to follow or remember. Keep your CTA short and concise, and be sure to shorten your URLs. For example, if you invite listeners to visit a certain page on your website, consider a link like hubspot.com slash offer instead of hubspot.com slash free offer for podcast listeners. As Andrew said, include your link in the show notes if the platform allows. The last type of content is interactive content. Interactive content can include quizzes, assessments, and free tools. Here's Carly Williams, manager of HubSpot's content conversion team, sharing her experience with creating tools. One of the most successful tools that we've launched here at HubSpot is called Make My Persona. Make My Persona is a buyer persona generator that walks you through strategic questions about your ideal audience. At the end, you're met with an editable, shareable document that you can use to collaborate with your team on a strategy to attract more of those people. When we launched the tool in 2018, we were featured as the number one product of the day on Product Hunt and boasted a 17% conversion rate. This success helped us come in at over 200% of our 30-day lead goal. When you're thinking about effective CTAs to use in your tools, consider your audience's needs. For us, that meant offering two different CTA paths on Make My Persona, one for people that wanted to learn more about what a buyer persona is, and one for people that were ready to dive into the actual creation piece. Another thing to keep in mind is how can you offer intentional next steps when someone is done using your tool? For us with Make My Persona, that meant supplying them with a book a meeting CTA. As Carly mentioned, consider the different needs of your audience and offer intentional next steps. Here are additional ways to create impactful CTAs for your interactive content. Consider inviting users to submit their emails as a CTA. Interactive content is often perceived to provide high value information, so users are likely to provide their emails when requested. Also, gather valuable information to provide a personalized experience. For example, you can gather insights about your users in quizzes and use that information to provide a tailored CTA at the end. Finally, use the results from your assessment or tool as a CTA. For example, if you are taking an assessment to determine why your plant isn't growing, the results may suggest you aren't using the right fertilizer. 
a call to action could be to download a comparison guide of different types of fertilizers or to purchase a fertilizer from the company. Now that you've heard a few recommendations on how to incorporate CTAs, you're on your way to creating impactful content for your buyer's journey. Creating impactful content for your inbound marketing efforts is both an art and a science. Your content should incorporate creative and original ideas, but it should also speak to your buyer's needs and goals. Incorporating compelling CTAs will ensure your audience continues through their buyer's journey with your brand.